everybody, it's Crazy Van Gogh Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So here we are. We're going to react to the final episode of the first season of The Legend of Vox Machina. And holy shit, guys, what a ride it has been. This whole season has been incredible. Um, but we are going to jump straight into this final episode. We were left on a fucking high from the last one. Silas is dead. Delilah is on the verge of death now. And the Whispered One is here, but now he's a spinning orb. Um, and Keyleth also is practically dead and pike is gone so let's jump straight into this because i'm super excited and ah! but before that please remember to like subscribe and comment if you enjoyed this video but also keep up to date with all my other reactions more tv shows movies and video games so without further ado let's jump straight into it it's not working oh there's nothing to be done keyleth is gone percy Jesus. That's not Percy. It's a demon. Look. Shit. I know you're in there. Darling. Take off the mask. <gasps> oh! Oh my god, please don't shoot Vax. Oh, Vax, I mean no Vax! Oh, Percy! Ragdoll it all of this. Oh god. Jesus. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, I love that. You look pale, boy. Have you seen a ghost? Oh, the wine glass. Oh, Jesus. You must fight this. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, this was Cassandra's kill. Oh, that was sick! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, I was about to say, I'll talk about that at the end. They will see you as a survivor. Everyone here suffered from the Briarwoods, but you endured it. We live as long as Whitestone lives. Very true. I meant what I said yesterday. I know, Vax. And it's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. But we have responsibilities. I just can't. I'm sorry. Look, I'm gonna walk away. Oh, Vex. Investigated. Don't touch all. 
Of course. Also, I have to be strong enough, and I think I can only do it like once a day. So, you know what? <laughs> Just forget I brought it up, darling. You've got this. Oh, thanks. Yes. <laughs> the bye panic immediately. <laughs> Come on. And so, with humility, I hereby renounce the throne and cede the government to the Council of Tal'Dorei. Oh. You already know. We will be adding a few more. Oh shit! Wait. Specifically, <laughs> pillars of the community who have held up. Yep, I'm really they're finishing on this note. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? Is there a secret? Is there any end of sin? End of the end? Then no, there's not. It's not like a Marvel thing. But I wanted to check anyway. Holy shit! I I fall. Oh, I was thinking, what? How are they going to end this se like season off? It's gonna be hard. Like, what moment to choose from? That I completely forgot. Like, that's why I immediately when Vexa did it, did that thing, and then I was like, wait. It's a council meeting. Wait, it's outside the castle. Wait, <laughs> like after every single after thing, I just like, realized like what was going on. Oh my god, if this is the route we're going with with the beginning of season two, we are in for a ride, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit, this is gonna be amazing. Wow, what a strong first season for an animated series. This was fantastic. Um. I would love to hear the thoughts of people who haven't, like, watched anything with Critical Role. What did you guys think? Because I thoroughly loved this series. Like I said, there were a few episodes where the beginning was a little bit, like, slow, or the liftoff of the episode wasn't as great as other episodes. I think it was, what was it? I think it was episode four? And it was episode, um, nine. The beginnings, both of those two episodes, they struggled a little bit to get off their feet and sort of move in the story but then once sort of like they were sort of at the point where they were moving with the tension or like whatever was the motive of the episode then it picked off and it was fine but some of the dialogue sort of like fell in those uh, like early parts of those episodes other than that Every other episode, I feel, has been able to, like, work really well with their characters. Because there are a lot of characters that they're working with. Um, and they were able to really, like, successfully, like, help every character breathe, grow on their own. Um, I know even, like, Travis Willingham, who plays Grog, um, he is the rage one, the barbarian. Um, even he was saying, like, for, for Grog, they have this, like, he, though he, because with Grog, he's just a, a, a arbiter of chaos. Um, he has certain goals, but with the intelligence level that he has, it's not as, like, um, like, as, I guess, like, incredible as some other stories are, but later on in his story arc, there are some pretty sick moments, so I'm excited to see if they integra in integrate that into the show, um, but going back to, oh, well, actually, they will, with the storyline that we're going with, we actually will, but anyway, oh, um, but with every other character, they were perfectly able to do it well. Percy Tallison, <laughs> the storyline for him was just incredible, and the build-up for him as well. Um, I'm pretty sure the demon that's within him is Orthax. I cannot remember off the top of my head, but beautiful representation of him in this episode. So, so good. And even in, the, in episode uh, 11, also, like, the smoke wisp turning into, like, like almost like an eagle face. That was sick. Um, and, oh, dude, even in this episode where Percy's putting the mask on and you can just see the massive grin. Like, that was good, but it was creepy. Like, cool. Um, oh, my God. Silas and Delilah Briarwood, what a treat they were this season. Absolutely loved them. Um, there is... Oh, uh, there are so many spoilers I want to say, but I am not going to say a word. Um, I want to say so much, 
because I know things, but I don't want to say it. But they are such a handsome couple. Dude, my my curious mind was just like, oh my god, Silas. And then there's like Delilah and then also Vax and Vex, like the twins, like they cause bi panic. That's why I said that with Keyleth, because like I feel like that's what everybody goes through with Vax and Vex. It's just like, holy shit, why are you both so good looking and sound so pretty? Like, why? Um and the rest of Vox Machina are just amazing too. They're all hot in their own way. But just as a whole, this season was great. Great introduction to these characters. Again, the introduction for them was so good. Um, loved the lightning dragon as well in the beginning. Um, oh, I have to say, the Silver Tongue episode is still my favourite. Um, and even, I think, episode 11. The fight scenes in that were just phenomenal. So I think those two episodes were my f- absolute favourite. Um, but yeah... Holy shit, guys. This went so quick. And I love the format of three episodes a week. That's that's a really good filling, like, like way for people to sort of get into the story instead of one episode a week, depending on the size. Like, for example, Boba Fett picked perfectly with... Fit perfectly, sorry, with one episode a week. But with this being, like, nearly, like, sometimes 27, 26-minute episodes, it, me- it, like, it fit perfectly to have three episodes because then it was nearly, like, an hour and a half um, of episodes. So it was perfect. Whew! So, so good. Absolutely loved it. Um, I'm excited for next season. It's going to be hella good. And... S- I can't wait. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on Vox Machina, or the legend of Vox Machina, this whole entire season, and obviously this episode. Amazing finale. So, so good. Congratulations to the entire team at Titmouse, um, and to, obviously, Critical Role, the cast Critical Role. Amazing work. Um, but again, Titmouse. Like, the animators need to be congratulated so so much for their incredible work so good so much action and just so like the way that they did it i know a lot of people were like why is like you know uh, i think it was the 3d stuff in terms of the fight scenes i love that aspect of it because again i've seen that so much in anime and even just other shows that i'm just like oh that's fine and also because of the budget like if that's what you're working with and also because even with the dragon they were saying the reason why they did it in 3d is because of the line work if they did want it to be in 2d it would have been 10 times more work and we probably wouldn't like like it would have been longer a longer wait if we had fight scenes like that every single time um so it's fine i'm i don't make a big fuss about those things and i i love that 3d aspect because it makes it pop even more for me personally um so that's why i absolutely loved it but again congratulations to the animators to neil acree who is the the man behind the incredible soundtrack and also to sam um he also does a lot of the lyric work and the music he's the one who voices um scanlan um amazing he's an incredible singer too so that's why i love his voice as well um but just the entire team this is such a great show and they should be so proud of it and um yeah i honestly cannot wait for next season it's gonna be so good so action-packed and uh, (laughs) so so good i just yeah it's really really good i absolutely love this i also really like how they ended um, with the Vax and Keyleth sort of relationship. Not that they ended it. It's, mm, I feel like it's open-ended. But I like the way they did it. It's very different to the way they did it in the campaign. Obviously, a lot of people know what happened. But I like the way that they've done it instead. I like the route that they've gone through. Um, I don't want to spoil it in case people do go watch the campaign as well. Um, so I'm trying not to say anything. But I do like what they've done with the show. I also love what they've done with Percy and, um... <clears throat> Vex. Um, sorry, I'm losing my voice now. Um, but they did a fantastic job with those two. I cannot wait for their relationship. Oh my god. And Vex and Vax and Keyleth. I can't wait to see what else happens for them. I hope that we see more of them. Um, but yeah. Whew! I can't wait for next season already. It's gonna be so good. Anyway, I'm gonna stop because otherwise I'm gonna be like sp- blurging. So, bleh. so again, thank you guys so much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!